Welcome back. Tonight was the night. Yes. Oh my gosh. The half and the have nots are back. Season five, episode one, Afraid of the Flames. Let's jump straight into it. So y'all know on last season that Veronica had um, Jeffrey and his boo thing all caught up, right? And had Jeffrey arrested or whatnot. So, um, Jeffrey in jail and all, not Officer Boothang, want to refer to him as his doggone boyfriend, church fan. I need my church fan. Chai, jeez. I got my church fan out. Lord have mercy. So, now he all big, bad, and bold, hollering, that's his boyfriend. Okay. Okay, boyfriend. Then he going to try to uh, freak Jeffrey. Up in the in the interrogation room, I'm like Jeffrey. Yeah, no, do the no, 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 no. You, he talking about he done this on all the cameras and the audio. It won't surprise me if he missed one. <laughs> he bet, he better hope he didn't. So anyway, we're gonna move on. Hannah, Hannah finally uh. Agree to go over to Catherine's and help get the new maid set in. That's that's the least you could do for everything that Catherine done done for you. I don't know. They still feeling like because uh, why hit Benny that that she still owe her or if it's because she really think she really considers Hannah her best friend. Because I'm gonna tell you, she she done paid for to keep Benny alive. She done paid for everything. I feel like she genu genuinely at this point. She not doing it. I th I feel like the hospital thing was the guilt thing. But I feel like genuinely at this point, the stuff she's doing for Hannah is because she said, and she said it, Hannah is her only friend. She love her some Hannah. Hannah, all she got, she don't have nobody else. Ain't nobody, she done said, told Hannah, ain't nobody ever done for her the things that Hannah have. And I think she does for Hannah because Hannah don't ask her for nothing. She wanted a few people that she know. They don't want nothing from her. And if she do get something for her, she want to work for it. So, Hannah, take this house and be humble. <laughs> Sit down and be humble. <laughs> and I understand, like I said, where she coming from. And I understand why Benny don't trust her. But what else do you have right now, okay? Y'all, two people. Catherine just got her money. She said she ain't got no family. Don't nobody love her. So, I mean, she better chill out. So, anyway... Benny wants to uh get a loan from Mitch's family. Benny, what is you thinking? This boy don't want to be caught up with his own family. Why are you so determined to be caught up with him? You done went and told him. You told him who killed the baby and who shot at Mitch, which that need to be told because war was going to have to be put in his place. And does anybody else think he really dead? I'm waiting to see if war really dead. I ain't going to believe it till I see him lord in the ground because I think he survived, but we're going to see. We're going to see you toward the end of the season. He <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. But anyway, he got a good idea to get him a new truck, get out there and get to working. I personally think he should have just asked Catherine. Reason being, Catherine can get you your old business back and all your trucks back. Why would you go and start back over when Catherine can help you out? She in the giving season. Let her give you, um, she giving your mama a house. She can give you your little business back. It's just a couple of thousand dollars as compared to these uh, expensive houses and stuff she buying. She said she worth millions on top of millions, <laughs> fist over hand. You better be humble too. Why you talking about you uh don't trust them? <laughs> That's the least they owe you after after their son done tried to kill you. Candace is still robbing and tricking and trying to get over on people. She go mess around and get effed up because you you calling strange men up in there. I hope you got a nine millimeter up under your pillow while you calling men up there taking their whole wallets. Not only do she just take keep their money, this heifer bad enough to keep the whole wallet. You could at least get the man his wallet back. What you gonna do? Go use his cars. You know them cars gonna be canceled before he get out the elevator. She be doing the most. You you a high price hooker. 
You back to doing that. I'm like, Betty, go to school and get you a real job and stop trying to take a shortcut to everything because it's keep blowing up in your face. Either that or be humble, sit down, close your legs and mouth and be with old Senator and be his side piece of meat. Honey, you get paid to do that. You don't have to want for nothing. He's going to clear, clear your work and do everything for you. And stop telling Benny and Hannah that they don't love your son and didn't care about their son. Who do, who was saying about him? You sure as hell wasn't. You was running the street trying to turn a new trick and run a new scam. And he was close to Benny and Hannah. So, yeah, they loved him. And if you loved him, you'd have known what was going on. How is it that you didn't ever talk to him, didn't ever go see about him because you, quote, was trying to get things good for him? Girl, bye. You was just trying to get things good for yourself, like your mama said. So, anyway... Catherine got Jim, church fan. <laughs> Catherine got Jim strung out, homeless, begging for crumbs, begging for a place to sleep. <laughs> Get him, Catherine. Go in on him. Dig a hole in his arse and make him feel the pain. Everything that you've been through, make him feel it. Make him earn it. Girl, dig a hole in it and bury his butt. Because I'm going to tell you, he done put you through some things. But when she told him to go stay with Celine. <laughs> Jim better call Tyrone <laughs> and tell him to come get your shit. Your ish. Because <laughs> you homeless. All them women you done slept with, you better be calling them. You know it was bottom of the barrel candy won't even sleep with you no more. Not even for a five dollar drink or nothing. She and if that little manager is who she messing with down at the hotel, Catherine. Let me look at you. Let me look at you, Catherine, over my glasses. Catherine. Girl, girl, girl. <laughs> Got you a hot piece of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Catherine. Come on through with that. <laughs> beef cake as Jocelyn Her Hernandez said. You got you some beef cake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Girl, go ahead then, Catherine. So anyway, moving on. Um, so they he's sitting here watching. I'm I'm assuming it was Wyatt's place because this kind of was confusing to me, but it looked like it was Wyatt's place. I don't know who place it was, but they showed Queen of Maxwell. Next thing you know, five oh came pulling up and got her little scrawny behind with her little worm itself. <laughs> hauled her from a church fan. <laughs> Went and hauled her right on hauled her right on off on to where she need to go. Um so I knew that Wyatt was molested. I did not realize that Wyatt was molested more than once. So he down to the Catholic school with all these priests that are molesting young boys. So he out in the back, he sees one of the molesting priests that he think by now they all dead. He distraught. He want to use. He want Anna to help him use. Trying. He's trying to make Anna fall off the wagon. So. They done messed around and messed with each other, which I was hoping they wouldn't mess with each other because she done pretty much well said last season that she wasn't going to be his uh, little coach, therapist, or whatever anymore if it kept getting heated. So now that this is going to happen, he finna really try to jump off the wagon now because I believe she's not going to be coming around no more because, you know, that's her week. Why is her... Uh, her weak spot. Hold on, y'all. My phone ringing. Sorry about that. But why is her um weakness? So I was really kind of hoping in a way that they would get together because I feel like if they got together, then and he got him a good woman, he would set her down. Maybe, but maybe she'll get pregnant. I'm hoping she'll come up pregnant and make him have to set her down and get it together. You know. And make him leave the drugs alone and want to change his life. Because, you know. Anyway. David rolling around in this G-Wagon. With Erica Gold digging ass up in there. Oop. I'm trying not to cuss. With Erica Gold digging arse up in there. She's up here. 
Um, David done really fell for her. And she just with him because he a convenience. But I keep waiting for her to really fall for David. Because if she going to fall, she need to go and jump off this cliff and fall for him already. Because this man showering, showering you with the world. He don't, he got you to this big castle y'all about to move into. Go hang you his card and say go buy you a new wardrobe. Why us regular women can't find us no man like that? Now, don't get me wrong. I've got a good husband. But still, where you find a man that give you a car tell you to go buy a whole new wardrobe? Do you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Got this house. She talking crazy. I decided her dog gone net and whatnot. And I'm thinking to myself, what you need to be saying is, do I get to decorate? Am I going to decorate this castle? Because I'd have been thinking of the colors I wanted. I don't want no dark colors up in here. We're going to make it the color of the rainbow. Every room going to be bright and brilliant. It's going to be full of love and excitement. And ain't going to be none of that drab shit Veronica had going. Ooh, I cussed again. Sorry, church fam. Mm. Trying to do better in 2018. So anyway, he trying to woo Erica. Here comes Jim old begging homeless behind Banging on the door like he needs some scraps of bread throughout to him. Cock blocking. Jim, scraggle on down somewhere. Sleep on the park bench. Don't nobody care. Then he going to try to say these women. The maid gets a, a penthouse and, or a condo or whatever he said. And I can't get a room at night. This That's your problem because you a hateful bastard. That's why she ain't doing nothing for you. Because this is how you've been treating people this whole time. And your little comments and little side marks she was making at Hannah. She wasn't planning about her best friend. <laughs> Bye. So anyway... That's why you over here beating on David door, begging him for his car. Then you want David car. David not you not sleeping with David. David got he trying to see about his woman and his son. And you over here trying to check him and worry about his business, but you can't worry about your own. Jim, get your old sorry arse on wherever you come from. And and somebody need to tell Mama Rose where you at. Let her come pick you up with your old scheming behind. So anyway. He's such a dog, and he foul as crap. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm just so uh, through with Jim. Just no, and then he done treated David all kinds of crap, and now David got to buy you a room on his car, and, and you spending his money. You can't pay him back because Catherine done cut her millions off to you. She should have did that a long time ago. You was paying for all his booty. But anyway, Melissa, Lord bless it, y'all. They done drove Melissa crazy. Veronica and her mama done drove her crazy. She going to sit there and watch Veronica die. <laughs> she was laughing. <laughs> she was laughing at Veronica. She told her she was evil. She said, what was she scared of some flames? for? she the devil. I know you right, Melissa. You better tell her. And Melissa, bless her heart. I want Jeffrey to stop being mean to this poor girl. Because this girl, she was forced to get pregnant by Jeffrey. Not by default. And now that Jeffrey sees she in the same boat and at the hands of his mom, what he need to do is befriend her, which I think in the, when she tried to kill us, that that's what he was going to try to do. But the damage was done. He had hurt her feelings so bad at this point. She was over and she wasn't studying her, But that's what him and Candy should have did from the beginning instead of being mean to her. But anyway, moving on. We got to see next episode if the car going to blow up or not. I personally don't think Veronica going to be hurt. She'll get out some kind of way and continue to tor torture poor Melissa because her mama done sold her to Veronica like some ch cheap, I don't know what you want to call it, but honey, she better go on and uh, help Jeffrey get out his situation so they can get their own place together. They don't have to fool with Veronica. They can just be friends and date whoever they want to date, raise his baby together. And she had her her boyfriend over there. He had his boyfriend over there. And they be one big happy family and going about their business, if you ask me. But anyway, that's all of my recap for, for episode one of season five. Yes, come through, Tyler Perry. And I can't wait to see episode two. And if y'all didn't see, I'm about to tell you. Tomorrow, if loving you is wrong, it's going to be back. So guess who you will see yet again? It is going down. Yes, I can't wait. He got me so hyped 
Boy, I'm going to have all my cooking done, my house clean, everything done, my laundry done. It's going to be swept and mopped, smelling good up in here. And I'm going to be ready to sit down in front of that TV. My phone going to be on airplane mode. And I'm going to come back and give y'all this tea after this show. I thank y'all for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all in the next review. Bye.